You might have heard of Waymo. The company touts itself as the future of driverless cars, but many Americans are skeptical of the technology because of safety concerns. To answer the question, how concerned should we be? Chris Van Cleve got an exclusive first look at one of their fully autonomous cars operating at full speed on the freeway. So we're getting on the freeway. You're along for a self-driving first. We are the first true passengers invited for a ride on a freeway in one of Waymo's fully autonomous electric Jaguars, meaning there's no one behind the wheel. The car stays under the speed limit, which is 65. Riding with us is Waymo's principal software engineer, Pierre Kreitman. How important is it for Waymo to be able to operate on the freeway? Yeah, freeways are critical for Waymo. Uh, that's one of the number one requests we get from our riders. Waymo, the nation's first fully self-driving ride-hailing service, is owned by Google's parent Alphabet. It already operates more than 150,000 paid driverless rides a week in Arizona and California, with plans to expand further to Austin, Atlanta, and Miami. But so far, not on freeways. But that's about to change after months of autonomous testing in the Phoenix area, gathering data from tens of thousands of miles driven with the goal of adding freeway passenger service in 2025. And competition is coming. Amazon-backed Zooks aims to launch in Las Vegas next year. Elon Musk rolled out Tesla's robo-taxi concept in October. What's the biggest challenge to getting the car to work well on the freeway? Part of it is the speed, because the speeds are so high and the mistakes are so costly. So the bar is to make as few mistakes as possible and be safer than a human driver would be. Waymo cites its data showing in over 25 million miles driven, its cars saw 72% fewer injury-causing collisions compared to human drivers. But they are not perfect. We will run to the parade. As seen in viral videos like this one, showing a Waymo accidentally driving into a parade route before safely pulling over. The vehicles are equipped with cameras, radar, and other sensors, allowing them to see a full 360 degrees. The work now is focused on fine-tuning how the cars handle freeway driving, like dodging debris in the road. If you were going to give the Waymo today a, a grade on this drive, how is it done? I would say 6 out of 10. Uh, I have a bit of a professional bias. I take off points easily. What do you think it needs to do better? So I think some of these small reactions could be smoother. Smoothing out the ride to get its passengers in a faster lane for the new year. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, Phoenix. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm comfortable with six out of ten. I, I think I want that number to be a little higher. I want to hear that though from the main guy. There's improvement to be uh, to be done. You know? Yeah, if we're ready or not, it sounds like. Here we go. Yep.